Hi, lovelies. We have on the menu today a gluten-free, dairy-free desserts. I am sharing a mousse and a trifle and a whole bunch of variations. The mousse is gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan. It doesn't have any sugar. It's nut-free. It's keto-friendly. And spoiler alert, the cake I use is the Simple Mills Doing in the, the trifle. I also mills. substitute the egg, but I will walk you through that. Hello friends, I'm Rebecca. This is Spiced With Me, Rebecca. Okay, let's do this. Today, the mousse that I am sharing with you is a big, 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 big party pleaser. It usually is all gone by the time I leave. And I don't go to too many parties with friends who are gluten-free and dairy-free, let alone vegan. <laughs> I do have lots of variations and I really think you're gonna love this. First, what you need for the mousse is two cans of coconut milk. I get the organic and the PBA free. How many cans of coconut? Yeah, I'm not crazy about using canned food in general, even if it is PBA free, but I do choose my battles. And this is one that I do use the coconut milk. You're gonna use the full fatty part of the coconut milk at the top. Coconut milk, the fatty part. And the rest, we're gonna- And then you can put it into the mixer. So I've done this in the mixer and I've also have done it in the Nutribullet, yeah. So you could try this in the blender. Then I use two tablespoons of vanilla extract and I get the vanilla from Trader Joe's typically. I try to get the organic one. This one happens to be the bourbon, which is great for this recipe. And two ripe bananas. The bananas are gonna give it a nice sweet taste. So you're gonna blend these up. I whisk them up, but I also use my Nutribullet. Then on the side, I always put chocolate shards, typically in my mousse. So I usually concoct a double boiler and I'll put some boiling water. And on top, I put a stainless steel bowl and then I put in unsweetened chocolate. And depending upon where I'm going and who this is for, sometimes I will add sweetened chocolate. I prefer not to use sugar in my ingredients, but again, this is all up to you. They do have some unsweetened organic chocolate chips at Trader Joe's that I love to use because this dessert is already going to taste sweet to begin with because you have the bananas. Now you may want to substitute something for the bananas. You can add extra honey or you can add maple syrup, but let's move on. So once I get the, the chocolate in the double boiler, I go ahead and put it on a glass dish or some wax paper, and then I stick it in the fridge. Now it's beautiful just like this. It tastes really yummy. It's a nice vanilla mousse. Now variations, you can add some cocoa into it and make it a chocolate mousse, which is really yummy. Then I'm going to add some fruit to it. So you can have the vanilla, with the fruit, you can add all kinds of berries to it. I add blueberries and raspberries. I like to use this frozen mix because then it lends well if I don't have the fresh berries. fruit on hand or I don't know when I'm going to use it. Lovely concoction. We're pouring that all in there. And we'll add some berries to it. And then we're going to make a chocolate version too. That looks good, doesn't it? I don't even know if we need the chocolate version. But. So that is the basic. You have the chocolate or the vanilla or the vanilla with a berry or some other type of fruit. I typically do the mixed berry, but I'll get into some other variations that you can do with it. For the cake, I use the Simple Mills cake and I substitute the egg. Okay, so let's go on chat GBT and ask them. Okay, okay, okay. What do they say? I thought this would be fun for you guys. Yes, it says you can substitute with the bananas or you can add applesauce. I do both and that way it is vegan and gluten-free. Simple Mills has a lots of different variations. I do like the fact that they have very simple ingredients. You can also substitute with aquafaba, which ChatGBT did not tell me, but I'm telling you. Okay. 
Okay, for the mix, I use the vanilla, the chocolate, and banana mixes. I have affiliate links below for everything. That means that I get a very, very tiny percentage if you use my link, which would be nice. Mm. Anyway, add the mix. Substitute the egg with one banana and a half a cup of applesauce, or use the egg if you're not vegan. A third cup organic coconut oil, a third cup water, and a teaspoon of vanilla. I bake it for 325 for about 35 minutes for the cake, 23 minutes for the cupcakes, and then tack on about five minutes extra if you're substituting the egg. And FYI, this mix uses almond flour, so it's not nut-free, it has nuts, and it also uses sugar, it uses coconut sugar. So once the cake is cool, then you can pour the cake into these cups like this, or you can use these little paper cups. You can even make it into cupcakes. So it doesn't really matter because you're making it into a trifle. So sometimes I make the cupcakes and they're fun for the kids. The kids like to rip them apart. They also like to make the cupcakes with me. Yummy. Okay, that's it, honey. Go put this in the sink. Okay, so once the cake is cooled, go get your mousse out of the fridge. Then you can first put in your berries or any toppings. Put that in at the base, put the mousse in. Rip apart the cake and more berries or other toppings. Put that on top of the mousse. And of course, if you're using the chocolate, go get your chocolate out of the fridge. And the chocolate should be solid by now if you left it in the fridge for at least an hour or two. Another option is to put this on as a topping on top of the little cupcakes. Okay you can add this mousse into the cake. So you can slice the cake and add it into the cake, which is a nice option. If you're like me and you don't like to use sugar, you, you're vegan and gluten-free. And the other option is to put it in a big bowl and it just have your way with it, go crazy with it. So I usually put some fruit in first. I put the fresh fruit in, then I layer it with the mousse. Then I add some of the cake and then I add more mousse and fresh fruit and the chocolate. Of course, lots of chocolate because I love chocolate. Who doesn't? Okay, so some of the variations. You can do the vanilla mousse with the chocolate cake. Really yummy. And then you can add what kinds of fruit you like. So you could do mango, just mango. I've done mango with vanilla mousse, chocolate cake. And also I used white chocolate and dark chocolate with the mango. That was really yummy. I use the vanilla mousse also with a chocolate cake and the chocolate shards. And then I use the mixed berries and that's always a big hit. Sometimes I do the chocolate mousse with the vanilla cake and the chocolate shards and the mixed berries. And again, you can do just blueberries. Sometimes I only have wild blueberries on hand, which are very good for you. They're jammed with nutrients. And then you add the chocolate and then you get like a nice chocolate blueberry. Now, another option that I just did was I used the banana cake mix, and then I use the vanilla mousse, and I add granola to it. So I make my own little granola mixture, and with the granola, you could also add some cinnamon, and I also added craisins, raisins, and coconut flakes. And then I add chocolate, of course, or you could add white chocolate. So it's nice in the fall for a nice, yummy autumn flavor. It's also a nice brunch. So if you're having or hosting a brunch, this is a nice option as well. Then you can do the banana cake with the chocolate mousse. And if you want to, you can add some type of nut butter, like a peanut butter into it. So you can add the peanut butter right into the mousse. You could either stir it in or you can blend it in. I did it one time and I stirred it into the mousse inside the Nutribullet. And then I added the chocolate shards, the banana cake. It was really good. Okay, so that's it. And I like to prepare this and serve this. It's really super easy to prepare it and serve it in these little cups if you're going to a function, if you're having it at your house. After you're done with the mousse and the trifle, you should refrigerate it. And I have to say, if you do this just as a mousse, it's really good. It's yummy. In fact, I took it to a party and I made the chocolate shards really long and they used them like chocolate potato chips and dip. So they use the chocolate shards to scoop up the mousse like a potato chip, <laughs> you know, like you would with nachos. And everybody loved it. The whole, again, the bowl was empty. So 
please, please, please comment below and let me know how it goes. I put a lot of work into this video, so if you do like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and I thank you very much for that. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content for those gluten-free vegan friends of mine. Enjoy.